We're in Woodley, Berkshire, home of Woodley Town FC, the birthplace of Chris Tarrant, and the one-time home of aviation legends Amy Johnson and Douglas Barder. Today, though, we're looking at high flyers from the world of gymnastics. And so here we are at Bullmurst Gymnastics Club with none other than Seb Tifotai. Nice to see you, Seb. Yep. Uh, I'm Junior World Seven Medalist, Pod 14 European Champion and many times British Champion, and I'm here to show you around. This is the founder and uh, chairman of our club, Graham Scottridge, and we've got head coach for Rover Gymnastics, Kerry Scott. Hi there. And also we have Chloe Farrance. She's my mixed pair partner that we recently won silver medal with. And also we have Crystal Hazelden, who's one of our senior gymnasts, one of the most experienced gymnasts in Great Britain at the moment. Pretty senior champion. And also we have Alina. This is Alina Stoyer, um, director of coaching at our club. Hello, you This is head of artistic, Joe Mills. This is one of our artistic gymnasts, Sophie Julian, and she's winner of the Challenge Cup. So, Seb, plenty going on. I'm sure you want to keep busy, so I'll let you go off and train. Thanks. Thank you very much. Um, we'll start by talking with the founder of the club, Graham Swatridge. If you'd said to me in 1973, when I first had three children in the school gym, that we would now be you know, a, a, top, a top club in aerobic gymnastics, very well known for artistic gymnastics as well, and with 1,100 plus members, I'd have laughed and uh, said, you're crazy. Blue is purely artistic uh, for many, many years through school and then uh, club, county competitions, national competitions. Drop down, forwards and then round, yeah? L-shaped block out to the side round, yeah? Uh, we train on the vault bars, beam and floor. Um, the girls train about 20 hours a week. Um, they're sort of regional national level gymnasts um, so we're sort of just breaking through on the national scene at the moment uh, which is really exciting. We've had our first British champion which is fantastic, a uh, really great achievement um, for, for everyone in the club. So Joe, who's this we've got sitting next to us? Okay this is our first ever national champion that we have at the club so uh, yeah very special gymnast. And Sophie you won the Challenge Cup, what was that like? Um, very good, very exciting. And how proud are you to have these two trophies, what trophies have you got here? Um, I've got the bars, because I won bars, and the overall. So who's your favourite gymnast and why, Sophie? Um, Beth Tweddle, because she's good on bars and she enjoys it as well. Well, let's hope you'll be the next Beth Tweddle. Um, that's it from the artistic side. Now let's pop over and see what aerobics is all about. Speed, speed, speed. Five, six, seven, and... Go, 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 feet together. Better. Aerobics. I love it because... I just think it's so dynamic compared to the other disciplines. I feel like it has much more entertainment, it's fast, it's energetic. Aerobic gymnastics is all about power, flexibility, dynamism. It's more about teamwork and enjoying the environment that you're in when you train in. I enjoy training so much. And Kerry, I believe you're going to show us a few routines, um, starting off with one of your younger gymnasts, is that right? Yeah, I'm going to um, show you Jasmine Kirkpatrick. She is one of our youngest members at Bournemouth that is now competing in aerobics. Good, Jazz, nice. Now squeeze your knees for me, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Two seconds, beautiful, good girl. At the moment, we're concentration, concentrating on her preparation. So working on flexibility and her strength and her course ability and endurance. Nice, now show me nice splits, back leg straight. Good, Jazz, that's a required element for her age group at the moment. She's at the very, very early stages, but it's showing really great potential. Almost there, good girl. Now big travel now for a big ending. Hold your ending position. Ready? Hold your end in. Stay there. Stay there. Good girl, Jazz. There are like four families uh, in aerobics, and we call them A, B, C, and D family. The A family is um, the push-ups, um, the push-up family. The um, B family is the static strength. So this is all the L support turns and Russian lever turns. Um, the C family is all the jumps and leaps, and then the D family is our flexibility, which is the, uh, the free illusions, the double spins to vertical. For each different age group, only have a um, certain amount of difficulty they're allowed to go to, obviously to make sure the gymnasts um, are not overusing their bodies and preparing them slowly, moving and progressing up to the senior category. We're going to have a look at um, Ella Roger. She's going to demonstrate a shell jump to push up and then a small transition, the back control into a lifted Wentz and hinge press. Okay, this is the uh, straddle jump to push up, which is worth um, 0.5, and this is the uh, Wentz and lifted hinge, which is also worth 0.5, which is the highest value skills for Ella's age group. 
Okay, next we've got um, Chloe Farron. She's just come back from the World Championships and has uh, finished in 13th position. She's going to demonstrate um, a high V support into, into box splits, which is 0.6 skill, which is quite high value for her age group. And ready to push up. Excellent, good. Good, good, good. Okay, next we have Jamie Carter. He's going to demonstrate a half straddle jump, half twist, into half pike, half to push. He's showing two different shapes, the straddle, and then he's bringing the legs in, having to show a pike shape. Excellent, Jay, good lad. Next we've got Ellie Spooner. It's her first year as a senior competitor. She's going to demonstrate a transition into the helicopter to finish in the one-arm push-up. Let's go, Ellie. Bam, this is the transition. And the helicopter now, on your shoulders, on your shoulders. Finish. Good girl, super. So, Alina, thanks for joining us. Can you tell us how you first got involved in this club? I moved to this club two months ago. I came for my interview and um, the work ethic for all the disciplines was fantastic and that really, really made me want to be part of this club. It's a fantastic team. Um, they've been here for quite a long time, so they want to see this club growing as much as I do now. Um, I would like to see this club very, very successful. So now we've seen one of the younger gymnasts and those elements. I believe now you're going to show us some of the superstars here. And now you're going to see um, Crystal, Chloe and Sebastian. As I was training an artistic, I saw the older girls start training aerobics and it kind of caught my eye. I began to enjoy it more and more. I went to my first competition and I won my first competition, so that probably influenced me to carry Chris on. Crystal's really dynamic and shows great speed in the L-turn. I am quite dynamic. As a gymnast, um, you need to be dynamic to be um, good at aerobics. How much work goes into creating this uh, So much. Um, takes. I've had that routine now for nearly two years and I'm only just starting to finally get at how my coach wants it to actually be. Um, it takes so much, like just rehearsal over and over and over again, repetition to get it good. Okay, next we've got Sebastian's individual routine. Um, he qualified at World Championships in third place um, and actually now has finished up in second, so he's our silver, silver medalist. Winning the um, silver medal at the World Championships, never expected it to happen. I had exams, I had to balance it with t intense training and also had an injury, a wrist injury, and uh, it was just so hard to balance, I didn't expect it. It was just unbelievable, can't it? It's just, it's just amazing. For Seb, individually to bring back a silver, I think that's got to be our best success so far since um, Sebastian won Europeans 2007. For the last six years I've been working really, really hard and you know, the team have to try and get you know, Great Britain up on the map and to try and make a final at a world. You know, Sebastian and Chloe and their mixed pair, it was their first competition together at an international. They'd only been training for six months. And to qualify in third, then to bring home the silver was just incredible, emotional. I mean, watching our GB flag rise up in the arena, I mean, the gymnasts were crying. It was just a real, real great, great achievement. And looking towards the future, what are your ambitions in um, sport? Hopefully I'll qualify for Europeans next year and hopefully get final. Maybe I'll be looking to a medal if I'll be able to do that. Next year I'm senior, so that's going to be tough. I'm not going to focus on meddling yet, but <laughs> I want to do well. I'd love to win some World Series, maybe make European finals and then gradually, you know, to see what happens at Worlds. But yeah, I'd love to become world champion, so that's like my goal. Our major problem is space, so ideally we would like a bigger building. Well, the ambition at the moment is to expand the club. The actual aer aerobic group can't train here most of the time because they need a wood floor, which we haven't got, and we're looking to expand so that at least, at the very least, the aerobic gymnasts can have their own hall and, uh, and I'm sure they'll progress even further. I think for myself to be able to bring the gymnasts to the next level, I really would like a, a natural aerobics floor, a wooden floor, and so the kids can train in their trainers. Obviously that costs money and we are trying to like, you know, find some sponsors and stuff to be able to provide us with a floor and have more time. And hopefully then uh, we can go to Europeans next year and bring home some medal positions from there. Well, a fantastic day here at Bournemouth, and if you like the look of aerobics or any other disciplines, make sure to keep an eye on BTTV, updated all the time with new events and new features.